Fourthly, zakah on cattle. Zakah in Islam has many branches and types. One of these types is zakah on cattle, which includes camels, cows, sheep, and goats. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Any owner of camels, cows, or sheep, or goats that does not pay its due, on the day of resurrection, they will come to their owner in the best state of health they ever had in the world. And they will butt him with their horns and tread him with their hooves. And whenever the last of the herd is through, the first starts all over again until all mankind have been judged. Zakah is not obligatory for cattle until a full year has lapsed with the animals being with the owner. This is due to the Prophet's statement, peace and blessings be upon him. There is no zakah on any property until a year lapses. Similarly, the cattle have to be grazed livestock, and this is that which is fed by eating from plants of the earth and permissible grass, that is, without the plants being cultivated by anybody. However, if it feeds on cultivated crops, then it is not regarded as grazed livestock, and zakah is not due on it. And the cattle has to be kept for some benefit either from its milk or offspring. But if it is a working animal, as it is employed by its owner to till or irrigate the land, carry goods or lift loads, zakah is not due on it. However, when it is rented or hired out to people, zakah is due on whatever rent is derived from it after a year has lapsed on it. And finally, the cattle has to attain the nisab prescribed by the sharia. For camels, its owner pays zakah of one sheep if the number of camels is from five to nine. Between 10 and 14 camels, the owner pays zakah of two sheep. And between 15 to 19 camels, three sheep are paid as zakah. From 20 to 24 camels, four sheep are paid. And from 25 to 35 camels, a she or a bint makhab is paid. That is a camel which is one year old. Between 36 and 45 camels, a she or bint laboon is paid, which is a camel which is two years old. Whereas between 46 and 60 camels, a hiqqa is paid, and that is a camel which is three years old. From 61 to 75 camels, a jaza'a is paid, and this refers to a camel which is four years old. And from 76 to 90 camels, two she bint laboons are paid. From 91 to 120 camels, two hiqqa are paid. And for any more than this, one she bint laboon is paid for every 40 camels or one hiqqa for every 50 camels. As for cows between 30 and 39 cows, a tabir is given, which is a bull or cow, which is one year old. Between 40 to 59, a musinna is given, which is a cow, which is two years old. From 60 to 69, Two tabir are given, and from 70 to 79, a tabir and a musinna is given. For sheep and goats, from 40 to 120, a sheep is paid, and from 121 to 200 sheep or goats, two sheep are paid. From 200 to 300, three sheep are paid. And for every increase of 100 sheep or goats, more than this, an extra sheep is paid. Concerning the description of the zakah that has to be taken, it has to be from the average of the payer's property and not from the best or worst of his possessions. So the zakah collector should then take into account the age which is due, since it is not acceptable to take less than that, because this would harm the poor. It is also not acceptable to take higher than that age because that would be unfair to the rich. Moreover, he should not take the sick, 
the defective, the large, nor the aging, because this does not befit the poor. On the other hand, he should not take al-akula, which is the fat animal intended to be eaten, nor al-ruba, which is the animal breeding its young, nor al-makhib, which is one that is pregnant. He should also not take the harazat, al-mal, which is the best of the wealth that is kept away from people's eyes because it is the best of wealth and taking that would harm the rich. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Be careful not to take the best of their properties as payment of zakah. It is possible for the cattle to be jointly owned. This joint ownership could be one of two forms. The first form, khulta a'yan. And this is when the money that is jointly owned cannot be distinguished from each other. Khulta a'yan can happen through inheritance and trade. The second form is khulta awsaf. This is when the share of each person is distinguishable from the other and known. But they share some utilities. For example, they should have the same care, barn and resting place for both types of khulta. The property of the two persons should be joined together and considered as one amount if the amount together adds up to the nisab. Both persons should also be from those upon whom zakah is obligatory. Thus, if one of them is an unbeliever, his khulta is void and has no effect. The khulta cattle should also have the same resting place or barn, the same pasture, the same milking place, and one fahal, which is a bull, if they are all the same type of cattle. If these conditions exist, then the two properties are considered as one due to the effect of the khulta. As the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, those which are in one flock are not to be separated, and those which are in separate flocks are not to be brought together for fear of sadaqah, meaning zakah. Regarding that which belongs to two partners, they can make claims for restitution from each other with equity. Khulta can make zakah obligatory, but this is only for cattle and nothing else. An example of bringing together that which are in separate flocks is when there are three people and each person owns 40 sheep. That is, all of them add up to 120 sheep. If we consider each one alone, the zakah due on the three owners is three sheep. That is, one each. If they, however, gathered all the sheep together, then the zakah would be only one sheep. So in this case, they brought together what was separate in order to pay only one sheep as zakah instead of three. An example of separating what was brought together is a person who owns 40 sheep. When he knows that the zakah collector is coming, he separates his sheep, putting 20 of them in one place and the other 20 in another, so that the zakah would not be due on the cattle as they do not reach the nisab when they are separated like this.